Hey, what's up all my Sagittarius people? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, you guys, so today is uh, Money is the Motive Monday reading, okay? So we are focusing on unexpected blessings, okay? So this is for anybody with Sagittarius placements in the chart. I'll tell everybody to roll card readings out. I can invite you to take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. It may not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody, okay? So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell let's get this thing started okay so we have the emperor oh and then we have the hair font okay so i really okay i'm getting a step up a promotion i get ascending from one level to another as the emperor is a boss but the hair font is coming in stronger the hair fine got people working on them, you know, just different stuff like that. But I do get like a, a step up. So this could be an increase in finances. This could be a promotion. This is some type of elevation. So if you have a project or something that you've been working on or something, it goes from one level to another, okay? So you have North Node, Life's Purpose, yes. So I feel like this, whatever this blessing is, is putting you in a certain position to lead your life or this is a part of your spiritual journey, okay? Here with the hair font. So this position that you get, it helps you get to the next level or you get to the next level because you've been working on something or something. <laughs> The moon, soul energy, uh, the soul, Pisces, Venus, love, Scorpio, I transform, yes, a major transformation, Aquarius, I know, Taurus, I have, and then you have the sun energy here, Leo energy, okay, so, um, somebody might have, um, this is definitely some type of money. Yes. With this Taurus, something jumps off. It pops off. So something goes like viral or something with the sun spirit here. It's like, it's bright. Like everybody is watching. Everybody is looking, but so you can have a North node or your moon, Venus, or sun sign could be in Sagittarius, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Pisces. Ooh. So this is sh shocking for you in a sense. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Like, hey mama, I'm on TV. Or like something you've been working on is like, popping off i feel like maybe you've been putting your passion into it you're all like you really been i feel like maybe you switch something up so now it pops and the source energy i have your money pops follow your intuition too what's what's this emperor what's this unexpected blessing for sagittarius you have the four swords here the um high priestess in reverse The Six of Swords. So one phase of your life is over. Again, that's why I say I got Ascension for, for some people. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Swords is here. So I'm getting literally a surprise. But I'm also getting... That's crazy. I'm also getting people are mad about this opportunity too. I mean, but who cares about that? They're mad because it's not them. Whatever. But um, like I'm getting somebody lets you into like this secret society or something here with the high priestess in reverse. And it doesn't have to be like cult or a cult. Like I'm saying in general, like this is somebody lets you into their sacred space or something. Somebody's like, come on in, like, you know, relax. Like somebody invites you over or something. Let's see, what's this four of swords? 
the eight of pentacles so it is work related because i was like so this person might be a little bit um fond of you but if this person could take you to the next level i would kind of keep that separated what's the high priestess here in reverse the two of pentacles So if you can manage to control your urges sexually for some of you guys, but just kind of separating um, business from personal or something like that, then I feel like it will be very lucrative. But all your hard work is paying off eventually, right? I feel like somebody, some of you guys felt like you had backtracked or you weren't getting everything that you were, you were deserving. This is some type of uh, collab... Uh, it could be some type of collaboration. But like you can't tell nobody. Like you got to keep it on the hush or something until it's ready to come out. You have the nine of wands in reverse. So you guys don't give up. Like you're so close to the finish line or something. Don't give up on a project or don't give up on something because you're almost there. What's the seven of pentacles? The King of Wands is in reverse. The Eight of Swords. I'm, I'm getting uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. The, I'm getting that somebody needs to cleanse. Because I feel like somebody either is trying to project their energy onto you or, um, or maybe you did cleanse because you did recognize. Like maybe something isn't right or... Or something like that. What comes after this Seven of Pentacles and this King of Wands? I feel like there's somebody that you realize after you get this blessing, yes. After you get this blessing, it's like some people got to fall off the bandwagon, right? Everybody can't go with you to the top. You're a star. You have the strength card here, Leo energy. So this person may be a Leo or something like that. Uh, but you have um, the star here, the ace of wands in reverse and the six of cups. And it clarified, all of that clarified the hair font. So you guys are the chosen one. You're chosen for a specific collaboration, um, a specific business venture or your actual business venture improves because maybe you collaborate with somebody or somebody else gives you like the opportunity of a lifetime so don't miss it let's get you guys an oracle card your past you've been working real hard this is something that that is is about to pop off you are the one this is like especially with the sun here like, it literally says number one. That's why I keep saying that. Give me pendulum decision. Crystals, healing. That's what I was saying earlier. Make sure you keep your energy cleansed or you keep protection on you. There are many paths before you, some that promise to fulfill your desires and some that others in your life would bid you to take to fulfill theirs. It is important for you to decide exactly where you want to go and whom you want to be in this lifetime for you and not for anybody else. The universe is giving you the choice. Ask yourself which path will lead to wholeness, which path deceives. Choose carefully for the answers are not being presented clearly to you at this time. You will be wise to call upon the pendulum to assist you with your decision for it will surely show you the truthful way. Do not take this lightly as the wrong path could detour you from your destiny, right? Seek your answers from within rather than from another. Trust your own wise counsel. Be more discerning. Don't take others' advice at face value. Release guilt and focus on what's best for you. A major decision decision will soon need to be made. That's what I'm saying. Talk about certain people holding on to certain people. I feel like that's the decision that you're going to have to make. Because you're going to have to leave some people behind. Everybody can't go with you to the top, Sagittarius. Whether or not, I'm not saying you have to be some some star or performer or whatever you're working on, whatever your project is. They saying the right path 
for you, right? Whatever you're working on, that's what's going to pop off. But you have to make the important decisions about the people that's around you because they're projecting this negative energy uh, on you. Okay, Sagittarius? All right, so um, please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, and y'all already know what it is. Holla at a player when you see me in the street. Come, bye.